<laughs> Chance baby. This is when you get to bond with them, you know. After they been looking for their mom. <sighs> So, Sammy, where's your other babies at? I saw them down the porch. She got two black ones and another one like this, I think. She's, got, she's a mama of four. Sam one. That one has this. There you go. Sleep, baby. Okay. Everybody knows you're there. I mean, it's me and my son. That's <laughs> everybody. My boy knows he's right there, so. Been hanging out there for about two days. So, we just got off our phone again uh, with one of our friends, and this time it was the great Johnny Morehouse. Yes, and confirmed I have to uh, jack this up, pull the drain plug on the 68 Skylark, drain the oil out, stick a tube in there, hook it to some argon, and shoot some argon in that oil pan, that crankcase, that bottom end of that motor, and then I can weld a couple studs on it. Pull the dent out. So, one of our viewers, a uh, guy that left a comment, said, you know, hey, show some of your 70s and 60s cars. Well, we showed a little bit on the last video, and you'll see that uh, right before this one. And we showed some. It was a Mr. Obvious video. Oh, there's that white cat. Oh, God. Oh, she's going to the truck. Oh. Yeah. And that dog's friends with her. And I'm just jealous. <laughs> I want to be friends with her, too. I really do. So we'll go over here and catch a couple cars over here. First car is a 1963 Valiant Convertible. We've got a truck cap going on. We've got an old motor home here, 81. We've got a Chevy 350. We've got another dune buggy back here thing. 69 LTD. There she is. Needs a windshield. Tree fell on it. One of the branches, not the whole tree, but one of the branches fell and broke the windshield. It's got a 460 in it with drizzling a 390 car, C6. Still got the C6, but it's got the uh, 460 in it. Bicycle built for two. And we'll go up here on the hill, pick a couple of these up uh, as we go out and show the rest of the car. So, 79 uh, F100 custom pickup. Uh, 91 Fox Body Mustang by uh, Buick and GMC George Balls. <laughs> Yeah, Rondo. I bought that from Rondo. He wants it back, but I think I'm going to keep it. And speaking about Rondo, here's his 75 Ford Elite with the Windsor in it that we put in there. I'm still having trouble with it. Uh, <clears throat> 76 Camaro. Six-cylinder automatic belongs to my son. A lot of cancer. 65 Mustang 289 belonged to my friend Aaron Lindley that I bought. Sold it to Joe Romping. He, uh, Beat the shit out of it. Made the connecting rod start hammering it and sold it to my son. So we bought a motor from Richard Crocker. 1986 Fifth Avenue Chrysler 318. And we got a motor for it. We're going to put a motor in it. So we got guys that say, oh, you didn't put a motor in that. And you're not a mechanic. And, you know, I never claimed to be a master mechanic. You know, truth is, I only held. I think two certifications. One was uh, tires and uh, oil, and the other one was uh, actually it was just tires. Yeah, and then the other one was uh, an air conditioning certification. So I never had, you know, no master tech. I never claimed to be a master tech. Thing about me is I've been around hundreds of mechanics, you know, people like Johnny Morehouse, and I learned things from them, picked it up. Uh, and if I didn't know it, then I'd ask, like I called Johnny today. I knew what I had to do, but I wanted to call Johnny because I wasn't going to take a, you know, step like that unless I got, you know, somebody like him saying, this is what you do, you know, Johnny Morehouse. Now, he is a master tech. Certified, no. But he's a welder. He can fix anything under the, you know, he can weld anything that's, uh, you know, not a broken heart or the crack of dawn, you know, and he can fix anything under the sun. That's Johnny Morehouse. But he's not a master tech either. You know, I think he had graduated from high school with uh, auto mechanics uh, honors, but that was it. I don't think he ever had any certifications. So we're going down the bike here. 
99 Mustang. It's not a 60 or 70, so we're not going to mess with it. Here we go, 65 Catalina. That's pretty cool. Two door. It's a sports coupe. <clears throat> it's like the one I had in high school, but the one I had in high school wasn't a sports coupe. It was a four door. This is a sports coupe. And the one I had in the high school had the same interior package, and it's got what they call a Venturi interior package. I know a lot about them. My father had uh, educated me on these cars because he bought that one that I had. He bought the four-door, and he gave it to me for my first car. Gave it to me when I was 13, so it was my car at the age of 13. This is the one we got to pull the den out of. 455 that I put in there, 350 is in the video of the video right before this one. It's over the motor van over there. 70 Plymouth Roadrunner. It was originally a 383 four speed car, I was told. Pistol grip. Uh, 86 F350. Uh, they say it's a Super Duty. Uh, 96 Cadillac Curse. Pretty cool. Nineteen seventy four Dodge Challenger. This is the bad boy. Aluminum, uh, excuse me, pub. fiberglass fenders, aluminum intake, engine built. It's a TA block, and if you know anything about the TA Challengers, uh, they were built for racing. So the engine's a TA block, you know, built for racing, and then the rest of the engine's been built around the block. So ten second car supposedly with a full interior, uh, four fifty six Posse, uh, all in it before I bought it. Uh, when I bought it, it was really in bad shape. I brought it in here, started putting frame rails in it, and you know, put fiberglass fenders on it, and started doing some patching. My mother died five years ago, so once I lost my mother, I'd I lost all motivation. So uh, I haven't done much to it in five years. I haven't done anything to it in five years. I think I took a wheel off of it, put a wheel on it. <laughs> I took one wheel off, put a wheel on. It's <laughs> all I've done to it in five years. So you know, when you lose some of the you know, that's really close to you like my mother was. She was my whole reason for existence. Um, it took everything out of me. And my son brought me back. So, you know, thank God for the son. You know, not this son. <laughs> my son on the channel. It's Beamer and Sun Garage. It's the son. So thank God for my boy who brought me out of uh, total despair and, you know, got me back out of, the, <laughs> you know, out of the gloom I was in after losing mom you know <clears throat> when i lost her i just you know lost motivation for pretty much anything i didn't have enough motivation too much of nothing anymore so let's check our batteries and yeah, they're charged sure are yeah they're charged up Switch it from one to another. <coughs> Trying to charge these batteries up. So, we'll shoot out here and do some more uh, exploring of the cars. I'm surprised this particular person hasn't been here. He must be new because <coughs> I've showed these cars so many times, you know. But we'll show them again. So, over here we've got a uh, 91. Uh, police cruiser, uh, Cincinnati detective's car. Got the antennas and got the mirror, you know, the spot mirror or the spotlight, not spot mirror. 64 Plymouth, uh, or excuse me, Dodge 880 with 361 big block, R boat, R motor. 1988 GT Mustang, time machine. Uh, 1976 Cadillac. There's baby. Hey, baby. Hey, hey baby. Come here. Come here, girl. A girl, come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Come on. I just, you see, you're the one I tell, I tell everybody about you. This is my lap kitten. I let him out because he just wanted to be out and outside and so he could frolic around and be a cat. So he'll come back in probably tonight or tomorrow. He'll sleep for about two days. <laughs> He's running and enjoying everything right now. 
he's uh, taking care of the mice. Not really a good mouse. Oh, I need some spray on that before I try to shut that hood. I opened it up and then, yeah. 76 Pleatwood Coupe de Ville, uh, 68 Dodge Cornette, 65 Barracuda. Over here we got the great uh, 72 Fastback, I like to call Eleanor's. He's got a big block in it, 429, and I put it in there. And my son, together, we put that motor in there on my 40th birthday 20 years ago. 1972 Mach 1, and it is a Mach 1. Um, Here's a couple telltale signs. One thing right here is a, a flip top gas cap lid with the honeycomb panel and the stripes on the, the door it was put on. I think it was repainted. <clears throat> but that's one of the telltale signs right there is that uh, wood or that uh, honeycomb taillight panel. Tells you what that car is. This is 72 Mark 1. 69 Cadillac uh, Fleetwood out of Virginia. We put a motor in it, me and my son. He bought the motor, we pulled it, we stuffed it in there, and then I finished it up. Had to call a little Bill in to help another one of my buddies. I couldn't get the motor mounts lined up, so we called a great uh, little Bill. <laughs> Love you, Bill. I know you're watching. He watches, too. Uh, 98 Town of Country belonged to my mama. That was hers. Um, Bonneville. 19, no, 2001. My mind's starting to come. My memory, you know, my mind, it's good for my mind to try to remember and what I have and remember what, what it is because after that wreck, I've really struggled with my memory, guys. So, oh, I just locked it. I've never done that before. <laughs> I've done it before. <laughs> but, you know, with this, uh, get caution i think i'm still suffering from uh i've been told oh you can't suffer from a concussion for weeks upon weeks well talk to dale Hart, junior he's got something to say about it sure did when i was reading about it arnhart said that uh his concussion was so bad that it highlighted all his uh uh you know eagles uh that he has anxiety, it's you know, claustrophobia, anything that he has and had, it's just highlighted everything. Well, I have all that. I have anxiety and I have uh, claustrophobic. Yeah, never thought I'd be there, <laughs> but I am so. So we're gonna back up. I don't feel like walking. Plus, I'm going out. I'm going out to the store here, pick up a couple things. Pick up a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> That's a couple things. It's good that I get out. Could move it around. I think this is probably good. Pick up the rest of the cars. I already showed you in the field. I'm not going back over there on this video. You can see what's over in the field on the video right before this one. <coughs> so. 97 Grand Prix, 99 Toyota, my pre car. 66 Pontiac Tempest, 1966 Johnny Morehouse welded the uh, chassis mounts in it and put two exhaust on it. And then I think I cut the tailpipes on it because I, I just couldn't stand it. Yeah, I cut the tailpipes. And they used to stick way far out, and I told my son, no, no, I'm not going to keep hitting my leg on it every time I walk behind this car. So I cut the tailpipes off of it. 79 Zephyr. 85 GMC white truck, as we call it. Our tow truck that does a lot of the work around here. 66 Bonnie Bill Convertible. We looked at that on the last video. 1973 Dodge Challenger. That we're going to get out and play with that soon. It's got a 383 in it. Originally it was a 318 car. Uh, 85 uh, Ford Ranger. Belonged to my great friend Joe Rumping. We're going to get that out and play with that soon. Uh, 2000 model HD 3500 box truck that I bought to store my son's stuff in it once he uh, got screwed out of the house that he uh, was given to him by his grandmother. Uh, 73 Duster. Yep, 318. Three speed manual on the floor. Another 65 Barracuda. We got two of them. 73 Olds Omega. 
we call it the Omega because it may go, may not go. Uh, Ford Escort Wagon, 71 four door. Skylark runs a drive 350 two barrel car. Rondo's Ranger, 99 Malibu rollback. 77 three quarter ton Chevy. Runs, got some fuel issues, brakes issues. Uh, 2001 Geo Prism. Boy, these really grown up. Have to get out here. 66 Bonneville. This is the last car, or second to the last car of the cars that came from Latonia, Kentucky. We bought five. We bought three Rivieras. We showed you two Rivieras over in the field in the last video, and one Bonneville. So there's the other Bonneville right there. 389 four barrel. And here's the other Riviera. And that's the third Riviera. So two Bonnevilles, both of them are 66s. And this is the third and three Rivieras. All 1973. Got paperwork on that. We got paperwork on the Bonneville that's out in the field, way out there, light colored blue. No paperwork on that. There's the rollback. 17 foot steel bed, 454 powerhouse. Rip your house off the foundation. 2001 GTP. Uh, Pontiac Grand Prix, supercharged. 1970 Cadillac Calais with Johnny Morehouse's side pipes exhaust. My son paid <coughs> outrageous amount of money. We had the transmission rebuilt. We had the frame welded. We had the side pipes, side pipes put on it. And I, I don't know how much it was. <laughs> I'm gonna probably say two grand, you know, three grand. It was, it was high, but that's what he wanted. Johnny did the exhaust. His brother Jimmy did the transmission, rebuilt, put a shift kit in it. Uh, the weld and the frame was redone by Johnny Morehouse to sell. And it was like 2200 bucks. Maybe that's not that high. But at the time, I thought it was, you know. But nowadays, you look at, you know, putting side pipes on something. Uh, the manifolds were planed. Uh, the side pipes were put on. The transmission was taken out and rebuilt. Uh, the frame was plated on both sides and fixed. So 2200 I guess, really not that bad. At the time, I thought it was outrageous. Yeah, but, you know, the times now, that would cost a lot more than that. But Johnny just right. There's some more cluck clucks over there. There's six cluck clucks today. Bunch of cluck clucks over there. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could give them to you. They're not mine. They don't belong to him. They belong to somebody across the street, I think, or somebody around here. I just want the eggs <laughs> and we're going into winter so I have no way of keeping them warm and keeping them from dying so we just let them go back to whoever owns them meanwhile they can come around here and eat all the insects they want I hate insects <laughs> so hey guys go this car's got a pistol grip shifter that I installed in it and it had a uh, ball shifter with a little white ball. Oh, there they go. Chick, 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 chick. And there's the pistol grip. Bought the stick offline for 150 bucks, and then I put it in there. There's a little carburetor. I don't think I'm gonna put that back on there, that's for sure. There you go. New tires I put on it. Well, they're used. And that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed showing you, I enjoyed walking through and recycling, you know, off all the cars. I remember that car there, 66 uh, Tempest. Johnny Morehouse knew that I was coming to the end of my reign and I couldn't do anymore, but I did as much as I could. We put the engine in, Johnny welded it in. Johnny welded the exhaust. Uh, I couldn't pay for it. My son paid for the welding and he paid for the exhaust. It was 200 and something dollars for the welding and exhaust. And Johnny says, man, he says, uh, Jeff and all of them said, this car's not in bad shape. He says, but uh, it's a shame. I said, what do you mean? He says, I just put exhaust on a car that you're never going to run. You're never going to hear it. Well, about a year or two, we go, we, we heard it. I traded it off for that Skylark there. Now, this car runs and dries. My son uh, paid for all the parts. He even paid Dad some you know, money to you know get the work done. I put wheel cylinders. We put brake hoses and brake lines and tuned it up and 
service to you know the engine and the transmission and just did a whole bunch of work to this car and this car was running and driving and i wanted this car for 10 years before my son bought it and i wanted it but i couldn't have i didn't have the money by then i done lost uh, you know everything i had going for me at that time so a kid bought it boy and then i ended up fixing it up for him and he paid for all the parts and even paid me labor doing it then he traded uh, that car to me oh there's a there's a mouser oh are you okay buddy how you doing oh no, no, no. He, he gone <laughs> and so my son got this car that don't run don't have no brakes don't drive and he traded me a running and driving car so i did it you know and of course i regretted it now and so what he did was uh after we did the trade he bought the distributor the radiator and some of the parts the starter the pieces i needed to get the car started and running and i had motivation you know my mom was still alive and we got to hear it run. I guess it's been more than three years ago. Yeah, it's probably been, it's probably been three or four years ago. But maybe five. Yeah, it's probably been that long. Just because I was think I got it going when mom was still around and I lost her. You know, my son created this YouTube channel four years ago. She's been dead for five now. So it was after mom was gone that uh, I started getting back into this because of my boy. He created a YouTube channel and brought dad back. So, you know got to give my son out a huge a huge uh, shout out to my friends too and my son for you know bringing me back from the break of uh you know death you know <laughs> if it wasn't death it was close to being dead because i was dead inside without the law and with the loss of mom i was just uh grief stricken so bad that i didn't care anymore so there you guys go i hope you enjoyed the cars and Hope you enjoyed some of the stories, and they're not lies, Jeff, Salt Ladder, and your dad. These are the true stories of my life, okay? Every one of these cars got a story, and I just told you a couple, and there's one on that 66 Tempest, the great Johnny Morehouse. Good guy, good friend. He's still helping me with the Skylark, so now I know what to do. I kind of knew that anyways, but like I said, I wanted to hear from the, from the you know, you know, the best, you know, uh, of all times, you know, before I go making a jump. He's going to be down here two weeks. I hope he comes out here and I want to, I want to do a video. If not, I want to get some pictures. <laughs> great my great friend, Johnny Morehouse. So shout out to him. Shout out to Jamie Phillips, Actions Auto Parts. Hey, Jamie, got any good stories? I know you do. Sure would like to hear some of your stories about your junkyard and your dad when he had his yard. Back row. I loved all those stories. Give us something. Just give us a little taste. Jamie, I know you got some stories. And check out his channel subscribe uh hit the bell button for him you know hit hit the like button give him a comment leave him a comment tell him, hey beer and son god sent me jamie phillips actions auto parts he's out of stanford kentucky good friend of mine personal friend of mine i feel that we're like brothers i really do we've never even met yet but we, that will soon change in a couple of months i'll be coming out to see him um they're going to settle on this uh car insurance uh personal injury jamie so I'm going to have a little bit of cash and a little bit of time on my hands. And so I'm going to make my way up there and see you out there in Stanford, Kentucky. Yeah, I'm going to the junkyard and we're going to do some videos. We're going to collaborate and do a couple and I'm going to spend the day out there with you. So how am I spend the weekend out there with you? I don't know. See if I can get a little place to stay for a couple of days. I'm not staying in the junkyard with Dave. Forget it. <laughs> even though uh, I'm friends with Dave on Facebook, even though I wouldn't mind hanging out with him somewhere. Uh, you know, I'm old. I need, you know, like you, Jamie, I need a bed. I can't rough it out there in that junkyard in a motor home. You know? <laughs> but Dave's tough. So check out those guys. Check out uh, Scott Speed Shop. And we'll see you in the next Beamer and Sun Garage. Well, them two love each other. Bye-bye, guys.